Welcome back to another Wildlife Wednesday. Today we're talking about, you guessed it, skulls. Observing and studying skulls can tell us a lot about what adaptations an animal has. When we think of skulls, the first thing a lot of us think of are teeth. We look at incisors, canines, and molars to tell us about what an animal eats. Well, today I'm going to show you three different features on a skull that you can use to start to understand some other adaptations that animals have. Feature number one is the placement of the eyes on the skull. So a predator like this wolf has eyes placed at the very front of the skull. A prey animal like this elk has eyes on the side of its skull. I like to remember this by saying eyes on the front likes to hunt eyes on the side likes to hide. Now if you have an animal like this one, where the eyes kind of oddly look like they're on top of the skull, that's probably an animal that spends a lot of time in the water, like this beaver. The second feature I want to point out to you is called a sagittal crest. Now carnivores, like this wolf, have a really pronounced sagittal crest and that's because they need really strong muscles to connect from their mandible, their lower jaw, up to the sagittal crest to give them a really powerful bite. Herbivores, like this elk, do not have a very pronounced sagittal crest, and that's because their food isn't trying to run away from them. The third and final feature I want to show you today is called the auditory boule. These hollow bony structures at the base of the skull protect parts of the animal's inner ear. So if this is really pronounced on an animal, it probably has a really good sense of hearing, like this mountain lion. So the next time you're observing a skull, remember that every single feature has some sort of function and can tell you something about how these animals survive in the wild. So thank you for coming to another Wildlife Wednesday, and we'll see you next week.